Hello agents, in today's video I'm going to be covering every backpack trophy that is in the Division 2. I believe there to be 83 in total that you can collect, but not all of them are still available. I'm going to go through them one by one and show them to you while explaining how to get them if they are still available. Be sure to give this video a like and a share to support it, and if you are new to my channel then make sure you hit subscribe for more content from me. I cover the whole Division franchise and I've also created the best Division community on Discord, so when you are finished with the video you should definitely come and check us out via the link in the video description. Starting with the American flag, we are going to go through all of these in alphabetical order. I am only missing 4 backpack trophies that I am going to show you at the end, and I am going to show you clips where I feel that it is needed. You will see me interact in these clips and this is where you will find the trophies. They don't pop up on my screen no, because I already have them. I used a new character in order for me to show you where to interact. If you think I have missed any trophies out then please comment to let me know and let other people know in the comments. And I am also going to put timestamps in the description if you just want to skip to certain ones. These timestamps will be in blocks though. So, the American flag. For this I believe it is still active but you need to earn it via the Division 1. Make sure that both games are linked to the same Uplay account and then reach Shields Tier 4 in the first game. This will unlock this trophy in the second game. The Awesome Shades is a reward from the Hollywood Global Event, earn enough stars during this to unlock it. Global Events are a part of the Division 2 seasons and they currently cycle through a few Global Events each season. The Baby Barrel can be found at Kenny College. This was not open for me when I recorded this video as Kenny College is a timed mode in the Division 2. I have some old footage for you though and you'll find this in the Kenny College Library in the area where the information desk is. There is no sound in this clip. The Baby Route is available in New York, you need to complete the Battery Park Liberation Project and I believe you unlock this when you go through the New York campaign and you speak with the NPC in the Battery Park safe house. There may also be a computer to interact with too. Just finish this project and then you'll be able to interact with a 3D printer at Haven for the trophy. The breakthrough can be found just after defeating the first boss in the Iron Horse Raid. The Bronze Eagle is rewarded for reaching Tier 10 Commendation Score. The Burger is a hidden trophy in a nightclub infiltration classified assignment. Right at the start of the mission, just notice the gold lounge and the locked keypad. The trophy is in this room but you must unlock it first. Turn on this generator right near to the door and then take note of the diamond symbol on the wall. You also need to take note of which light strip is lit up. Mine is the second one and you need to remember what yours is. The second generator that you need to find is just after this black and white corridor. You will notice the X symbol on the wall and then turn the generator on. 
take note of which light strip is lit up outside the room and you'll see on my screen now that mine is the third one. When you get into this area where the lit up columns are, you need to find a key on the dead body. Head backwards to find the octagon shape and the third generator. The light strips are just under the shape and mine was the first strip that was lit up. Take note of what yours is. The final generator is where you have the boss fight with the chemist. You can do this before or after, but just to the right of the pyrotechnic switch is the hyena symbol and the last generator. The light strips will be right in front of you, and out of process of elimination we now know that this will be the fourth strip. Take note of what yours is, and head to this room where you must input a sequence. There will be computers and symbols, and your code is going to be different to what mine is, but enter the sequence which you just found out. My diamond was the second light strip, my cross was the third light strip, my octagon was the first strip, and my hyena symbol was the fourth. So my sequence is octagon, diamond, cross, and hyena. The hyena symbol is the triangle symbol in this room, and if you get it wrong, you can try again. Once inputted, you can then head back to the gold lounge to get the burger backpack trophy. Capital Hill is no longer available. You earn this from participating in the Division 2 beta. The Contaminated Area Trophy is rewarded for getting all of the collectibles from all of the contaminated areas in DC. I won't include this guide here, but if you want a guide for these, I have linked the video that I made down in the video description. The Cypher is part of the Division 2 Friend Referral Program. I believe that this is still active, and all you need to do is refer friends to the game and then play with them. There is a cheesy way of doing this, and I have linked all of the details down in this video description. The Doberman was obtainable during the Resident Evil Apparel event and this is no longer available. The Donut is earned via the Nelson Theatre Hostages classified assignments. You can find it in the very first area that you go into. Portable device detected.
DZ East Trophy used to be obtainable by going into the Thieves' Den in the Dark Zone five times. The Thieves' Den was taken out of the game a long time ago, so I'm unsure if this is still available. After researching online, I couldn't find anything, so please let me know in the comments if you know of a way that this is still available. The DZ South Trophy is earned for killing players as a rogue in the Dark Zone or killing players in conflict. It seems to be a random drop and I believe you may be able to get it by killing rogues too. People also question how do we get the DZ West Trophy. We have an East and a South but where is the West? To this day nobody has confirmed its existence. The film wheel can be found near to the sleeping giant control point in DC. First you must complete the Navy Hill transmission side mission to unlock the G Phillips protocol point of interest. It is in here that you'll find this trophy. If you have already done this and never picked it up, you'll be able to go back to it. Detected. The Flash Trophy was available during a timed event where you had to log into the game to get it. This is no longer available. The Fry's Trophy can be found during the Detention Center Rescue Classified Assignment. Continue through the assignment until you reach a part where an enemy is shooting you on this machine gun from the window. From here, just follow my route to the trophy. The gold bar can be found in the bank headquarters mission just after you open the bank vault. Authentication successful. Access granted. Hostile radio intercepted. The alarm! Fucking division got into the room. The Golden Gun is a reward for the Golden Bullet Global event. When this event is active, just earn enough stars to unlock it. The High Ground Trophy can be found just before Boss 3 on the Iron Horse Raid. As you enter this part of the building, just shoot the two cogs in the direction that they'll go and the trophy will appear on the toolbox. The High Rise Trophy is earned for completing Floor 100 of the Summit. The Homeric Gallery was a reward during the Magnus League in Season 4 of The Division 2. It is potentially unavailable now, but if they do repeat the league in another season, then this will become available. 
In league, she must acquire 60 points through speedruns and other activities across two weeks for the backpack trophies. The hot dog can be obtained from the National Bond Armoury classified assignments. You can find this after clearing the first area. The hunter's axe can be obtained from the ivory chest at the base of operations. You need all eight ivory keys to open this and you get these from killing all of the year one secret hunters. I won't be covering how to do these now but I have linked the video in the video description that will show you how to complete all eight and open the chest. The Hydra of Lerner was a reward during the Kestrel League in season 4 of Division 2. It is potentially unavailable now but if they do repeat the league in another season then this will become available. The Hyena Tagger was a reward during the Northeast League in Season 1 of the Division 2. Again, it is potentially unavailable now, but if they do repeat the league in another season, then this will become available. Take note, if you are watching this video as it goes live today, we are currently going back through Season 1 activities in Season 5, so all Season 1 leagues will be repeated at some point this season. The Ice Cream Cone can be obtained in the Marina Supply Route Classified Assignments. This was a very tricky one to figure out and for me it was the toughest of the classified assignment puzzles. Once inside the building and in the first main room, destroy the weapon stockpile on the boat and then do as I do in this clip to get the trophy. Rescue. The key card to this storage room is on the table. Hope you find something good.
the ink ribbon was part of the Resident Evil apparel event and is no longer available. The Iron Horse trophy will be rewarded to you when you complete the Iron Horse raid for the first time. The jet plane will be rewarded to you when you complete the Dark Hours raid for the first time. The Jill Sandwich trophy was part of the Resident Evil apparel event and is no longer available. The Lady Liberty was a reward during the Home League in Season 1 of the Division 2. It is potentially unavailable now, but if they do repeat the League in another season, then this will become available. As of the date of this video, Season 1 Leagues are being repeated in Season 5. The Liquor Trophy was part of the Resident Evil Apparel event and is no longer available. The Lincoln Boss can be found during the Lincoln Memorial Mission. The Loyal Hound Trophy was a reward during the Huntsman League in Season 2 of the Division 2. It is potentially unavailable now, but if they do repeat the League in another season, then this will become available. The Magnet is a reward for the Polarity Switch Global Event. When the event is active, just earn enough stars to unlock it. The Molten Trophy can be found just after Boss 2 on the Iron Horse Raid. You have a little puzzle to solve. A few people are going to need to go left and the rest will go right. You just need to shoot the two junction boxes which I'll show you now. And then the people on the left will be able to open these doors. A tank will spawn that will drop a key once killed and this will open the third door to the raid key. You can get this backpack trophy from the bucket in the area that the tank spawns. The Moth was a reward during the Lunar League in Season 2 of the Division 2. It is potentially unavailable now, but if they do repeat the League in another season, then this will become available. The Muffin is obtainable in the Embassy Crash Site Classified Assignment. Quite early in the mission you come through this office and down these stairs. Notice this locked door that you cannot enter. Scanning. Embassy of Mexico identification required. Security clearance level 3. At the very end of the mission you can find a security code level 3 key in this locker inside a room that was blown open. From here, turn around, force open the elevator, and follow my route back up to where that door was that was locked earlier. Beyond this door will be the trophy. The Mushroom Friend Trophy can be found at Kenley College. I have some old footage for you here and you'll find this right from the start at Kenley Metro Station. There is no sound in this clip.
The old guard trophy can be found right at the end of the Iron Horse raid. It'll be in the cannon that was on the train. The Opera Mask, was awarded during the Wraith League in Season 3 of the Division 2, is potentially unavailable now, but if they do repeat the league in another season, then this will become available again. The Outcast Body Vault was awarded during the West Side League in Season 1 of the Division 2. Again, this is potentially unavailable now, but if they do repeat the league in another season, then this will become available. As of the date of this video, Season 1 leagues are being repeated again in Season 5. The Pentagon Trophy will be rewarded to you on your first completion of the Pentagon Mission. The Perfect Defense Trophy is a reward for the Guardian's Global Event. When the event is active, just earn enough stars to unlock it. The Pizza Trophy is obtained from the NSA Security Alert Classified Assignment. In the area where you have to take out the drones, there is a hidden route that will take you to the trophy. The plush flower can be found at the campus settlements. Portable electronic device detected. Plush Hippo can be found at the theatre settlements. The return to send a trophy was a reward during the Hill League in Season 1 of the Division 2. It is potentially unavailable now, but if they do repeat this league in another season, then it will become available again. As of the date of this video, Season 1 leagues are being repeated in Season 5. The Riot Gas Canisters can be found just after Boss 2 on a Dark Hours raid. The RPD badge was a part of the Resident Evil Apollo event and is no longer available. The SAM trophy was a reward in the old Ubisoft club. Since this has now changed to Ubisoft Connect, the trophy became unavailable. The sample vials can be found towards the end of the Roosevelt Island stronghold. If Emmeline gets away, finding her isn't going to be easy. You've got to stop that boat. The 
the Skullbreaker Trophy as a reward for the reanimated global event. When the event is active, just earn enough stars to unlock it. The Skyline Trophy is a reward for completing Floor 50 of the Summit. The Soda Trophy was part of a timed event. In this event, you had to log into the game across some set dates, and this is no longer available. The Space Shuttle can be found during the Air and Space Museum mission. The speaker's gavel is unlocked as part of the main story. After you have rescued the president during bank headquarters, you'll go back to the White House and speak with him. This is where you'll unlock this trophy. The spray painted bobblehead is an RNG based drop from District Union Arena. I believe it cannot be invaded and you can complete it on any difficulty. It'll drop off the final boss when it drops and you must keep trying if it doesn't. The stake was a reward during the Shade League in Season 3 of the Division 2. It is potentially unavailable now, but if they do repeat the league in another season, then this will become available. The Supply Crate was rewarded for participating in the Division 2 Open Beta and is no longer available. The Shushi Trophy can be obtained from the Aquarium Classified Assignment. After travelling in an elevator, you need to shoot a lock off this door. Continue the mission until you have restarted the filtration system and cleared the area. Then do as I do to get the trophy. The Shringe was a reward during the Termite League in Season 2 of the Division 2. It is potentially unavailable now, but if they do repeat the League in another season, then it will become available. The T-Rex is a reward for completing Tidal Basin for the very first time. The Black T-Rex is a reward for completing Tidal Basin on heroic difficulty. The T-Virus Trophy was part of the Resident Evil Apparel event and is no longer available. The Target Practice Trophy is a reward for the Shade Exposed Global event. When this event is active, just earn enough stars to unlock it. The Curse Trophy was a reward during the Viper League in Season 4 of the Division 2. It is potentially unavailable now, but if they do repeat the League in another season, then it will become available. The Eye was a reward during the Belfry League in Season 3 of the Division 2, and again, it is potentially unavailable now, but if they do repeat the League in another season, then it will be available. The Posidon was a reward during the Titan League of Season 2 of the Division 2, and the same again as I mentioned with the last two. Throwback Tommy can be found at Kenny College. This was not open for me when I recorded the video, as Kenny College is a time mode in the Division 2. I have some old footage for you though, and you'll find this in Kenny College Student Union from the start where the echoes are. Just follow my roots. Specialist Jack Arnold. Jack Arnold was Proteus's squad leader. In her last sit rep, she said she was going to try and get the mobile shade server back. Looks like they took her prisoner. Portable device detected. The 
timepiece is another trophy that is part of the Division 2 friend referral program. I believe this is still live and you need to refer friends to the game and play the game with them. There is a cheesy way of doing this and I have linked all the details in the video description. The tiny skeleton can be found in the DCD headquarters mission. The total control points capture trophy is rewarded if you can take over all the control points on your map. All must be green and the easiest way to do this is in New York because there are only 8 control points. It doesn't matter what difficulty you're on. The Veil is the last trophy that is part of the Division 2 friend referral program. I believe this is still live and you need to refer friends to the game and play with them. There is a cheesy way of doing this and I have linked all the details in the video description. The Warhound is a reward for completing District Union Arena on Legendary for the first time. The Washington DC flag is rewarded for getting to Commendation Rank 5. The Wolf Charm was a reward for the Dusk League in Season 3 of the Division 2. It is potentially unavailable now, but if they do repeat the league in another season, then this will become available. And then the final trophy that I have is the Zombie Hand. This was part of the Resident Evil Apparel event and can no longer be obtained. I believe that I am only 4 backpack trophies short. Tommy the Teddy Bear is first and this was only available if you had pre-ordered the Division 2 on PC. I have no idea why it was only for PC but I was unable to get it and this is now unavailable. The second is the Shepherd Unicorn, this is a reward for getting max Shepherd rank. The third is the Conflict Trophy and this is a reward for reaching the highest level in Conflict which I think is 99. And then the final backpack trophy of this video is the arm patch and dog tags. This is another RNG based drop and you need to get it from Capitol Hill. It only drops from the last boss and I believe it won't drop on Invaded. I have done Capitol Hill hundreds of times but for whatever reason I cannot get it to drop for me. My guess is that it is bugged and I have even tweeted Massive to just unlock it for me but for now it remains unobtainable. I hope you have better luck with this. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to like and share it. If you think I have missed anything, then be sure to also comment what I have missed in the comments. And don't forget to also subscribe to me if you are new here. Also, now we are done, don't forget to go and check out my community that is linked down in my video description. Until next time, stay safe and peace out.